myth of the farm, it's something that people are upset about because you've been lied to. <laughs> The reason we need a post-animal bioeconomy is because animal agriculture is one of the most detrimental things to the environment, to public health, and to the way we treat animals. 70% of all agricultural land is used to produce animal products. That's not a very efficient use of land because we're growing a lot of food to feed a relatively small number of animals to feed to humans, and animals are very prone to disease. A massive cull of chickens is underway in Japan after a second bird flu outbreak. Last year, 50 million chickens had to be culled to contain an avian flu. It's a disaster. The United Nations has just issued a warning about the resurgence of the virus, infecting millions of birds and almost 600 people, half of whom died. It's not so much that we are moving agriculture out of the farm, we're changing what the farm looks like. The future of foods is this diverse portfolio. We can respect the traditions and the culture that surrounds eating animal products, but without all of the nonsense that comes before it. We need to produce those same products starting from the cell. Ultimately, you're just making cells multiply. You can start with a cell that's a little bit muscle-like already, like a myosatellite cell, which will grow into meat very directly. If you want to make eggs without chickens, egg is made of various proteins, and you just take those proteins, insert the genes for those into a yeast, and then you get the yeast to make the proteins for you. The thing that makes milk so creamy is a casein protein, and nut-based proteins can do what casein can do. What doesn't stick all the time is that we're not making alternative products. We're making the exact same thing. What's different is how it came to you. This next era in meat production is like an era of cultivation, where people are working with cell cultures, artisans and craftspeople instead of scientists. That level of control will allow us to have diversity, whereas with the current system, the level of control eliminates diversity. Then also the price of meat is only going to go up. The price of cultured meat can only come down. I don't think we need to think about the meat or animal ag industry as enemies. Everyone has the capacity to be disruptive. And I don't think that the existing ag industry couldn't participate. But if they don't participate, they're asking to be disrupted.